If you spend any time outdoors, you know that keeping all of those gadgets charged up can be a challenge. And we don't always want to drain our auto battery or start the motor to keep it charged up and waste fuel. So the standard way that most folks do it is to use some kind of solar system. And that's great. Solar systems can put out a lot of power, but they can also be very complex and become very expensive. And solar systems generally are not very portable. Are there options if you are hiking on your motorcycle in a canoe? Today, I've got something for you that I wanna show you that we came across on Indiegogo about a year ago. It's from a small Canadian startup company and the solution that they've come up with fits in this bag. This is the Shine Wind Turbine. It's a small self-contained wind turbine that includes the charge controller and a 12 amp hour battery. Let's see what's in the package. So in the bag, we have the actual Shine Wind Turbine. And as you can see, this is a very compact unit. The turbine has two inputs. One is a micro USB that you can use to charge this from a wall plug. And the second is an output, which is a USB-A. Also comes with an owner's manual. A central pole to mount the turbine. Three tent stakes in order to hold it down and hold it steady. We also have three guy lines mounted to a central hub. A leveling ball to make sure that you get it level and make it most efficient. And as well, the kit that I got came with an anemometer that helps us gauge whether or not we have enough wind for this to generate electricity. The turbine itself is rated to produce up to 40 watts of electricity. It has a built-in 12 amp hour battery, as well as an MPPT charge controller. So the entire unit is really a self-contained charging and power management system. And if you can imagine, the best conditions to demonstrate a wind turbine are on a windy day. And the best conditions to make a video and have the sound not clouded by a bunch of windy background noise is on a non-windy day. So we've had to make this video over a few days. We've kind of tested the shine in different conditions. So now we're going to take a look at what it takes to set this up. Okay, to set this up, as I said, we have stakes, we have guy wire, and the last item we need to actually set it up, I have stored inside the body, and that is a single pole, which is shock coated aluminum. So let's get the pole set up, and then we'll deploy the turbine. need to loosen the lock nuts, turn the blade 90 degrees, tighten it back up, do that for each of the blades, just snap the uh, cap back on and then you install it onto the post. Now this is a, I don't know if you call it uh, a reverse sort of blade so downwind is that way so you point the tip into the wind so here we go it's spinning it'll keep itself facing into the wind there's a little light here that will tell you if it's generating and kind of give you an idea how much it's generating but one thing and this is important it's like solar a 200 watt solar panel on a cloudy day will not put out 200 watts that is the same thing with the shine. It requires eight miles an hour wind to really generate electricity, and it doesn't generate its full capacity until you get 28 miles. Right now, we're pushing about 3.8. So we've got a pretty little gizmo, but it's not generating any electricity for us. So I just wanted to point that out because like all green 
types of energy. It does depend on the sun or the wind. So if Shine asked me to advise them on this after using it, what is one item that I absolutely know that I would tell them? And that is that this tip should be permanently attached to the bottom segment of the pole. As of right now, it's just shock ported. This end, when you pull this pole out of the ground, the end stays in the ground and snaps back out, hopefully. In fact, that's what it did just now and snapped some dirt in my eye. But as you can see, it's just shock corded in there. And this is the second time that we've had this in the ground and already the cord looks like it's fraying and I'm afraid this little end piece is just gonna stay in the ground. So now that we've had the chance to mess around with the shine turbine for a couple of days, what do we think about it? What do we think the pros are? What do we think the cons are? And is it something that you should consider? So I think the first thing to take into account when you're looking at the shine turbine is to sort of picture it as a charging block that's able to self recharge itself. I don't think of this as really a power station per se, such as a large solar array in a overland vehicle. So if we put it in that context that it's a portable charging block that's capable of recharging itself, then I think it makes more sense. So the first thing that I think is a pro for this is that it's an all-in-one unit. If you think about it, this has the electrical generation capacity, it has a 12 amp hour battery, and it has the more sophisticated MPP charge controller all in this one three pound unit, I think that's a win. And the charge control unit is smart enough that if the wind is blowing too fast, it will actually apply brakes to stop this unit so that it doesn't damage it. So I think that is a big pro. The fact that it is three pounds and it's pretty compact, so you can take it hiking if you want. It's motorcycle friendly, canoe friendly, under the back seat friendly. I think that's a win. The other thing that I didn't mention earlier, but you're able to charge through. So when you're generating electricity with this unit, you can also plug in your device and it will charge while the battery is recharging in the unit. So it, it, one, it runs double. You don't have to wait for it to be charged up to then charge your units. Um, you can charge it on a wall charger. So if you wanna charge it up before you leave home, you start with a full charge and then you can charge it up and top it off as you go. And the battery should be big enough, my calculations are right, that you should be able to charge an iPhone roughly three times. So it's got a decent reserve capacity without any sort of top off. What's the first thing on the list of cons? Well, this one should be obvious to you. If there's no wind, you're not generating power. Just like if there's no sun, solar is not generating. With the turbine, if there's no wind, you're not getting electrical output. It also requires a 28 mile per hour wind to generate the full 40 watt capacity. At eight miles an hour, you start generating, and at 28 miles an hour, you're generating full capacity, and you have a, uh, a bit of an exponential curve as to the output. So you're not generating 40 watts of power in a light breeze. So that's the first thing. It needs a pretty stiff wind to get going which may or may not be your cup of tea when it comes to conditions you want to camp in. Number two, it comes with a USB-A output. Now I'm sure at the time that they were designing this, USB-A was fairly standard. I mean, it does take lead time to engineer and design and produce things. But at this point in time, I think I would like to see a USB-C output. And if your device is a USB-A output, you can always get an adapter but it just allows it to output more power. Third on the list is growing pains. Now Shine is a small independent company. They've just started, they've got some growing pains. Case in point, the spike tip on our pole, it, you know, it, it shouldn't not be integral part of the pole. And I have already addressed this with them. There should be no way that that shock cord is constantly getting stretched trying to pull the pole out of the ground. We also have an issue with the zipper on our bag after about four uses. So with growing pains, I'm going to say initial quality control. 
I haven't noticed anything with the turbine at all. That thing has performed flawlessly, but just some of the ancillary items, um, and that's just gonna take time. Another item that Camera Lady pointed out is there may be a safety concern if you have small children or curious pets uh, around these spinning blades. Now they do say in the manual, right, make sure you don't stick your hand in the spinning blade. They instruct you how to dismount the, the turbine by turning it out of the wind so the blades stop. But a curious small child might not know that. So you do need to keep a sharp eye out if you have small children. It might not be the best item to have around camp with small kids. And the last thing I'm gonna mention as a con is the price. Now I'm not gonna say it's overpriced and I'm not gonna say it's underpriced because everybody has their own budget. Right now the kit, as you've seen with the bag, with the anemometer, sort of what we have here is on sale for $412. The turbine itself is $399. So I'm not gonna say it's grossly expensive by any sense of the word but there are cheaper charging blocks out there if you don't want the rechargeability of it. Now, if you're one of those people that likes to support small independent business, that likes new technology, I think this is gonna be right up your alley. So, it's a loose con, let's put it that way. So at the end of the day, what do I think about the Shine and do I think it's something that uh, makes sense for camping in Overland. And I'm going to give it a qualified yes because it is a tool that can be used in the right conditions to keep those gadgets charged up. And if your camping generally involves windy locations like beaches, higher elevations, then I think this thing would work great. If you're normally camping in the middle of the Midwest, in the middle of a forest in the summer, it's probably not going to be a real efficient tool for you. So I think this one, you have to address your needs and your use conditions and decide for yourself if this is something that works for you. But I hope you enjoyed learning about the Shine Turbine. It is a neat gadget. I applaud them for bringing this to market. And if you like content like this, please take a moment to hit that sub button in the lower right hand corner. Give us a thumbs up and uh, share it with all your like-minded friends. And as always, Take care, and we'll see you outdoors.